don't read books, write them. That's probably one of the smartest things that was said to me this week. Country boys are way smarter than archaeologists. People who live in Indian country and collect things like angry birds and axe heads and rabbit's foot, lucky rabbit's foot, and a little axe head, and this piece here, which is very nice. Ow. But I got it on swan right now. See a little swan tucked down in there. But those of us country boys who walk around the woods <clears throat> and pick up these stones, people call creek rocks. And if you like me, not one of these come for the creek. So I know it's not a creek rock. That I'm sure of. Country boys can read these things right here. Archaeologists can't. They say they're rocks. I, I can read this stone, tell you everything that's in it, turn this stone on 13 different angles and show you every picture in it. Why? Because they're supposed to be 13 months. We changed it to 12. It was 13 months when they did this. They stone read at 13 different angles. If you collect tools and Indian artifacts other than arrowheads, you have more education than anyone who collects arrowheads, any archaeologist of any Native American artifact, and that's just fact. Because if you've watched my video when I, when I put them archaeologists on Front Street, and if you hadn't already, watch it. It's a hoot because none of them's into archaeology. One of them's into clocks, one of them's a bike rider, one of them's a gamer, and one of them's a drag queen. And I, I, don't, I don't respect their knowledge on the subject at all. And, and they can't even believe that Indians just like pieces that were just pretty. Look at that piece of quartz. That was found in clay in Georgia along the rest of this stuff, which tells me Indians just like pretty pieces as well. Didn't have to have a function just like us, you know. They're so much like us that they just wasn't enslaved into a system of work, you know. They were very spiritual people. And they, believe it or not, archaeologists, put spirit animals into these stones and the tools. They're shaped, the tools are shaped the way they are for a reason. And I, I made this channel, really, I thought I was going to help people identify Native American artifacts. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is teaching most of the archaeologists out here what Native American artifacts are and the difference between American American Native artifact and a rock. Look at this here. Lucky rabbit's foot. Do you see this? This was created in a creek. Is that not the craziest stuff you've ever heard of in your whole life? Now, look at this angry bird here. Do you see the way that beak is pegged out into there? And if you look at these dots I have on it, all these little white out marks and stuff, is actually different eye points for different animals. You hold this rock at different ways and all kind of stuff pops out. It's crazy. That's why I know it's not a rock. So that's why this channel was created to get rid of the notion that Native American art Native Americans didn't work quartz. Quartz, 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 and even a high quality polished quartz piece, which I believe was an axe head, just by the way it was made. Um if you look right here, it's been notched out, and right here, no, it's been notched out. And I think this was halved and put on a stick and was just a nice piece. It was just a pretty piece, ceremonial piece or something, I don't know. But I just want to tell y'all, if you're a country boy, you collect an Indian artifacts, don't listen to archaeologists. Use common sense. That's something they don't have. That's something we do. Let's use it in our favor. We haven't been educated or indoctrinated with a narrative that we know does not exist. So keep collecting these little things and we'll get smarter than them and maybe one day they'll learn something from us. All these country boys. Till next time, Country Boy Archaeology. Peace out.